hi guys welcome to today's video in today's video i am going to be showing you how to create a custom fit jumpsuit pattern using a very easy to use online pattern making software called Taylor Nova. Disclaimer, I am not working for Taylor Nova. They are not paying me to do this video. I have just used it. I discovered it online. I've used it and I've seen that it is very simple to use. It removes uh, a lot of stress when it comes to pattern drafting. If you're somebody that just wants to make a dress for yourself, you know, without all the hassles of measurements and all that. This is a software to use. This is a dress pattern drafting software that is easy to use and you can use and make a dress for yourself. Let's say you see a nice style online, a jumpsuit, and you want to make it for yourself. You don't want to buy it, you just want to make that kind of style for yourself. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that style using Taylor Nova. So let's go straight to my computer and let me show you step by step how you can effortlessly create a custom made to fit a jumpsuit pattern for yourself. So I saw this um, jumpsuit online and I like it. And I decided to see if I can create the pattern using Taylor Nova. So that I can make it for myself. And I'm going to show you exactly how I created this pattern using Telonova. Now all you need to see is that it has a round neck, as you can see, and it has bishop sleeves. But here, the, the risk here, the, here is a little bit longer than a normal bishop sleeve, which is quite something is that is easy and you can do it. And if you can see the trouser is not straight, it's not narrow. Is a little bit, um, it's not flared either, or a little bit straight, but it's not too close. So that is all the information I need. So let us go over to Telenova and see how we can create this wonderful jump suit. So here is my Telenova account. As you can see, I'm in my account. I'll go here, click on my name, and I'll go to 3D Fit Model. That is to get the exact measurement I want to use for this particular style. So I'm going to be using this particular model to do this style. To get to this page, just get to Design, go to New. Click on new design and here you can pick your jumpsuit. Just click on that and then go to let's get started. Let me remove this. <coughs> so we have our jumpsuit as you can see here already. So what we need to do is to change the neck and then add the bishop sleeves. You can see how easy it is using Telenova to get what you want. If you look at what we are making, you see that the sleeve is just round, it's up, and then it has a bishop sleeve. The trouser, as you can see, is exactly the way this one is. It's fitted at the waist. So let's go uh, to sleeves. Then once, once you click on sleeves, it's going to open up and show you a lot of sleeves. You can see all the sleeves that Telenova has. And if you scroll down, you see all the sleeves that you need. You just be looking at it and looking for the one that you want. We're looking for bishop sleeves. And this is elbow bishop. This is three-quarter bishop. This is full bishop sleeves. As you can see, that is a full bishop sleeve. So we'll click on that one. And then you see that your pattern and even your technical sketch is going to change and so show you the full bishop sleeve. So you see that we have our full bishop sleeve already. As I said, this year is so short, 
But if you look at the pattern, you can make it as long as you want. Instead of making it this short, once you cut the pattern, just make it as long as you want when you're cutting it on your material to be able to get this long part of the sleeves. So that is all there is to it. And then look at the neck. Let's change the neck. Just go here to necklines. So you can scroll and look for the neckline. For me, this is the nearest I can get to the neck. So I will just click on this. That's the nearest uh, neck that I think is um, similar to that neck line. And that is it. This is our dress. That is our dress. If you look at it, there everything is there. Your facing is there. So let's see. Let's see you want to see how it looks like. I can go here and look for the fabric. Once you click on fabric at the lower left uh, bottom part of the page, it takes you to this page. And here you can go to my fabric where you can upload the fabric you want to use. That's the fabric I want to use. I already uploaded it. But let's see. Let me show you how to do that. You can just go right down to the left bottom. Sorry, it's not showing on my video, but once, you, once you're on this page, you go right down to the left bottom. You see where you can click Upload. And once you click it, any fabric type, give it a name. Let me just give it a lacy fabric, lacy jumpsuit fabric. So I will just upload the image from my computer. I already have it on my computer. Uh, let me see. This is where I have it here. I can click that and I can open it. And that is where it is right there. And I can just click here, upload fabric. And once it's uploaded, you will see it here. So all you have to do is to click it and see what the dress would look like using this fabric. This is what it looks like. If you click this one, to also show you what the dress looks like using this fabric and this is your patterns where you can actually download your jumpsuit so as you can see there's no much difference between this and this that is the jumpsuit and this here is the pattern that you can download and make it for yourself so it depends on you once you're downloading it you know that the top part see the top part here you can use that for your lacy material that you've bought the top part of the pattern when you're cutting the pattern you use this top part uh, pattern and use this material to draft it as you can see because the top part is the lacy part you use it to draft it you use the plain material to do the neck if you don't like this neck, you can always change your neck. It must not be exactly the way it is. If you don't like it, you can always change it. It's, there are a lot of neck styles you can do. If you don't like the dress or you want, maybe you want a neck that is different from that one, you just get to this place, click on jump suit, and then it shows you different kinds of things you can do, like body type. If you click there, you can change your sleeves. You can change it to straps, you can change it to tank tops, Reagan sleeves, you can do everything, you can do an off shoulder and everything. Any one that you click, it will just change it for you. Let's say we want a drop shoulder. We, want, we don't want it to be like this. If you click on drop shoulder and you click on apply, the changes will immediately apply to your patterns so all you have to do these are drop shoulders just click any one that you want so that it can apply to your patterns and you have it these are drop shoulders this is this one here let me see if i click this here it will remove this and show this as the pattern you can see here even when you click here that for pants length how long do you want your pants length to be a lot of things for you to choose from here a lot if you click here style is it a straight leg you want is it tapered leg is it white leg is it flayed leg is it a palazzo so you have all the other anything you want to do with this your jumpsuit you can do it but in this video i just wanted to show you how simple it is for you to see a nice style online 
Come here, create a pattern for it using Telenova. Download your patterns. Once they are done like this, you just go here. You down, download your patterns. Put it on your table. Put your materials. And then cut it and you're good to go. How did you find that? You see how easy it is to actually create a custom fit made to measure jumpsuit pattern from a simple style that you see online. You can just create it, create your pattern and make your dress. And the important thing is that once you download your patterns, Telenova shows you step by step how to sew it. It comes with the download. You can it's just you read it how to sew it and everything. I have a full video where I actually made a dress, downloaded it, showed you how to put the pieces together, showed you where you can read how to join everything together. That is how simple it is. You know me, I love simple things and I always want to let people know how they can make their sewing life easier. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in my next video.